Welcome back everybody to Madden 17 News, my name is Mr. Hurricane, and in this video I'll be breaking down the top 5 free safeties and the top 5 strong safeties in Madden 17. We are nearly through these top 5s and top 10s. After this video all that will be remaining are punters and kickers. So if you're not caught up to date on these top 5 ratings or the Madden 17 news, the link to my playlist is down below with all the videos I've made talking about this year's game. There are two articles down below in the description as well, one for the free safety list and one for the strong safeties, and I will begin with the free safeties. The highest rated free safety in the NFL is also the highest rated defensive back by two overall points. It's Tyran Matthew of the Arizona Cardinals. He plays safety, he plays corner, both at a very elite level. He's a 96 overall. The best corner was Josh Norman at 94. Matthews a 96 with 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 94 agility, and then listen to this closely. Matthew has 96 man coverage, 95 zone coverage. That is incredible. Whether it's safety or corner, he's going to play both extremely well. Last year, the Honey Badger had five interceptions. He has eight in his three-year career, and he's been one of the most fun players to watch on the defensive side of the ball throughout the last three years. So number two, we move on. Another free safety at 94 overall, which makes him the third highest rated defensive back in the game. I've been waiting for this one. I've been so excited to finally get to talk about Harrison Smith of the Minnesota Vikings. He's a 94 overall with 87 speed, 91 acceleration, 87 agility, 71 man coverage, 88 zone coverage, and 92 hit power. As a Vikings fan, it's been a ton of fun watching Harrison Smith throughout his career. He is one of the best coverage safeties in the league, while also being one of the best tackling safeties and a very effective blitzer. He can play free safety, he can play strong safety. Man coverage is not going to be his strong suit with only 71 man, but there are still so many things you can do with Harrison Smith, and I'm looking forward to using him on Madden 17. Last year, Smith had two interceptions, one and a half sacks, and a forced fumble, and he has 12 interceptions in his career. Next up, the number three free safety, and we have a 93 overall. It is Eric Berry. He is the NFL's comeback player of the year from last year after overcoming lymphoma and having a phenomenal season on the field. He was an all-pro, as were Harrison Smith and Tyran Matthew, and he comes in with 91 speed. Now when I look at his ratings compared to Harrison Smith, I do wonder what makes Harrison Smith a higher overall. Because Barry has more speed with 91, then he has 90 acceleration, 87 agility, 81 man, 89 zone. So Barry is 10 better in man, 1 better in zone, same agility, 1 less acceleration, but 4 more speed. I'm guessing tackling plays a role, maybe play recognition, awareness, but I'm guessing they both have it very high. So I'm interested to see what makes Harrison Smith a higher overall. I don't care about the overall ratings as much. It's just one of the things we can use to compare. I look at these individual ratings and I like what they are for both players. But Harrison Smith ends up with a higher overall rating. Last year, Eric Berry had 61 tackles and 2 interceptions. And by the way, Tyran Matthew had 89 tackles. Harrison Smith had 66. So those are the top 3 safeties. Now number 4. There are a lot of good free safeties in the league. We have Earl Thomas also at 93 overall. Thomas comes in with 91 speed, the same as Eric Berry and 93 acceleration. So his range would be slightly more, but not very much. 93 agility, 78 man, and 89 zone, which is the same as Eric Berry. Last year, Thomas had 64 tackles, one forced fumble, and five interceptions. He has 21 interceptions over his six year career. And like with Eric Berry, the ratings they're showing here, his ratings are all better than Harrison Smith's, but something is still keeping Harrison Smith up that high, and I want to know what it is. So let's go to number 5, another 93 overall free safety. The strong safety list, by the way, is not this impressive. That's why I begin with the free safeties. 93 overall, Malcolm Jenkins of the Philadelphia Eagles. Jenkins has 86 speed, 92 acceleration, 89 agility, 78 man, and 91 zone. Jenkins has done a great job in Philadelphia, and I'm excited to see how he plays alongside Rodney McLeod as a very intriguing safety duo there. And Jenkins last year had 
two interceptions, three forced fumbles, 109 tackles, and over his seven-year career has 11 interceptions. He's been very good in Philadelphia. He has the second highest zone coverage on this list, of course, behind Tyran Matthew. So those are the top five free safeties. All of these guys are great in coverage and can stop the run as well and help create turnovers. And we have a 96 overall at the top and then a 94 and three 93s. Free safety is a very top heavy position in the NFL. Now we're gonna transition over to the strong safeties and start talking about the counterparts to the free safeties. And we start with another 93 overall and then we start dropping down. We have strong safety from the Miami Dolphins, Rashad Jones up first. He has 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 86 agility, 70 man coverage, and 81 zone. So of course with the strong safeties you're going to have lower coverage ratings most of the time and better tackling ratings or just better ratings for run defense. Rashad Jones has good speed for a strong safety and actually the speeds here for safeties aren't as bad as I thought they would be. Most of them are pretty adequate. Jones was very productive last year with 135 tackles with 5 interceptions. He has 15 interceptions in his 6 year career. Like Harrison Smith, I really want to see what makes Rashad Jones ratings this high because he's a 93 without having really high zone coverage to help prop it up. It's at 81, which is, I would consider good, but for a player at 93, it's lower than you'd think. Next, at number two, we drop down to 91 overall, Cam Chancellor of the Seattle Seahawks. Chancellor has 87 speed like Rashad Jones, 87 acceleration, 83 agility, and 67 man coverage, 79 zone. One of the things I really wonder with the zone coverage in this game, which I've been over and talked about every new zone coverage technique, and there should be a huge noticeable difference in that department, but I want to see what does 79 zone coverage look like when you're covering deep, because Chancellor has the speed to cover deep, but the zone coverage is low. And what does that 79 look like when he's patrolling the middle like he would in a cover three? That's definitely something to pay a lot of attention to. Last year, Cam Chancellor played in 11 games, had one forced fumble, 74 tackles, and two interceptions. Over his career, he does have 10 interceptions and nine forced fumbles. Now let's move on to the next strong safety, and here is the big overall drop. We go from 91 to 86. It's Patrick Chung of the New England Patriots. He has 87 speed as well. 92 acceleration, 82 agility, 75 man coverage, and 86 zone coverage. So he is the best coverage strong safety so far in this list. And his 86 zone and 87 speed, he could probably play free safety for you as well. He is part of another very good safety tandem with Devin McCourty who is not in the top 5 free safeties, but he definitely can't be far from a 93 if he isn't also a 93. But last year Patrick Chung had 85 tackles, 1 forced fumble, no interceptions, he only has 8 interceptions over his 7 year career. I definitely like his versatility there in the secondary and if you're playing franchise and can upgrade his man coverage just a little bit, then you have a guy who's a lot more reliable against tight ends. I like his top 5 ratings here quite a bit, but there's something in there that keeps him from being closer to a 91 where we were with Cam Chancellor, the next highest strong safety. Next up, number 4, TJ Ward, 85 overall from the Denver Broncos. 88 speed, so he is the fastest on this list so far. 91 acceleration, 82 agility, 70 man coverage, and 82 zone. Another hard hitting strong safety, best used in the box, 82 zone isn't too bad. And his 88 speed is adequate, 82 agility is not great for a change of direction. But if you want some added help against the run, here's a great strong safety for you. TJ Ward last year had 61 tackles, 2 forced fumbles. He has 7 interceptions in his career along with 7 forced fumbles. And that takes us to the final safety of today's video. The number 5 strong safety is also an 85 overall. It is Morgan Burnett of the Green Bay Packers. That's another pretty good safety duo there in Green Bay. And Burnett has 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 84 agility, 75 man, and 83 zone. So his ratings really compare well to Patrick Chung's. Another player who has good zone coverage. He has man coverage that can probably cover a good portion of the tight ends, but maybe not the best. But he does have 87 speed as well. 
And last year, Burnett had 68 tackles, two forced fumbles, no picks, and in his six-year career, he has seven forced fumbles and seven interceptions. So those are the top five free safeties and the top five strong safeties. One of my big takeaways is that there doesn't seem to be a big speed difference between even strong safeties and majority of the wide receivers. There isn't a lot of players in those mid-90s or higher for speed on either side of the football, so it should be fairly even when they're racing down the field. Now looking back to last year, I have the top five safeties from Madden 16's launch, and I see Cam Chancellor was an 83 speed, now he's an 87 speed. His zone coverage has dropped from that. And then we have Harrison Smith who went one up in speed, Earl Thomas went one up in speed. The receivers didn't have those mid 90s or high 90s speeds last year either, so I'm guessing we're gonna see a lot more contested situations down the field. And we're going to have a lot of uh, the new swap mechanic, I'm sure, used along with uh, the catching mechanics from last year. So that will do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and let me know in the comments section what you think of these two top fives. Were there any players you thought should be in this list that weren't? Let me know. There are a lot of good safeties in this league. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 17 news and content when the game launches this month. It's August now. That'll do it for today. Thank you all again. Have a great day.